Hello and welcome to yet another YouTube video here on this channel. I just got out of the shower so my hair is a complete mess. Anyways, today I wanted to talk about the, maybe the most hyped note-taking app for 2023 and one of the best note-taking apps I have tested so far. This works well for students and actually everyone who does some kind of research and wants everything to be inside of the same app. It has great search functionality. It is overall a good looking app. So let's just start off with what is called the calendar or the daily note page uh, where you can just jot down everything. I have been a big fan of a daily note page ever since I started taking notes because you don't have to decide where the note goes you can just simply start writing a note and then decide later on where it is supposed to go capacities just like many other new note taking apps doesn't have a folder structure uh, which i personally find limiting i don't like folders so i tend to go for note taking apps without a folder structure and it is an object-based note-taking app. I will come back to what that means later. But it is also block-based with uh, markdown functionality. If you have used another note-taking app with markdown, uh, at least I do, I tend to use markdown in every note-taking app I use. So in my case, uh, some sort of markdown functionality to format text is really important. Now let's get to the object. So everything inside of uh, capacities is an object. So what does an object mean? It can almost be everything you want it to be. I I tend to use people as an object. I used to tend uh, use politics as an object. Things that uh, are important to my own life is an object. A meeting is an object. Social media or media in general is an object. All the apps I look at is objects. And this is so uh, sort of an easier way to think of everything because our brains tend to store things as objects so it is easy to use a note-taking app that does the same and it also supports uh, bi-directional links so if I go in here you can see everything that is linked to mem AI which is a note-taking app I did a blog post on and I also have definitions as a um, uh, as as an object because everything that I write has to be defined like what is linked note taking and it's so easy to just have a definition page where every single one of my definitions is or a definition object it isn't a page so overall the app looks really really clean and I like it a lot I like the calendar um the calendar or the daily note page it has dark mode and light mode I prefer to use it in light mode at least in the day in the evenings I would rather prefer a dark mode this isn't my note taking app of choice just simply because I like to have more uh, I have a more visual way of looking at it, so I like to use something like Scrintle, which is my favorite note-taking app. And if you haven't checked out Scrintle, I will leave a link uh, for the video down in the description so you can check out Scrintle as well. Again, overall, this app looks really clean. It has a lot of great functionality and the development it just seems to get better and better and better and let's just take a look at the pricing so the pricing comes in around at around ten dollars a month for the capacities believer plan you get early access to the mobile app 
which is out now in early access, you get block-based linking. And if you don't know what block-based linking is, you can link to a specific block. So everything inside of this app is a block and you can link to this specific block, which is really, really good. And I wanted to show you one more thing before we get back to the pricing. And that's the different views you can have inside of an object. So there are several different views and if you're familiar with Notion it looks a little bit like Notion. You can also filter the views as well. Now back to the pricing. You get a curated icon set beta access to new futures and they are coming with a lot of new futures and Capacities Pro is coming quite soon with an AI assistant and task management. But you get a lot with the free plan. I've been using the free plan when I tested out the app and you get a lot of unlimited spaces, objects and blocks, synchronization across all devices, unlimited content types, import, export, backups, unlimited media storage, intelligent global content search, and you can even s save content from WhatsApp, Telegram, Twitter, or email. I use the Telegram integration to send myself messages uh, and they get, get stored inside of my daily notes. So every time I send myself a message through WhatsApp or Telegram, I get it inside of my daily note. So the pricing on this is amazing and build monthly you get the capacities believer plan for $12 a month. So I would recommend if you're looking for a new note taking app this is really easy to use. You can get into it quite easily and it doesn't have a big learning curve like for example Notion has. So if you're looking for a new note taking app in 2023 I would recommend trying out Capacities because it is really good and it just keeps getting better and better.